morning. We're still just moving a bit slow in the mornings, but we're on our way over to the Museum of London. I'm in a very empty Paddington station again, and I'm just waiting for Mom and Lisa. I walked a little bit faster than them so that I could run into Boots and get some medicine so that I can feel a little bit better, but I'm really excited. The Museum of London is a lot of fun, so I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys.
So we're outside the Museum of London now and this piece right here is a fragment or a part of the old Roman wall that used to go around the city of London during the Roman times. And those shadows are us. <laughs> Lots of history. And then that's the Museum of London where we just were. And now we're still inside the Barbican and among all of the skyscrapers. Well, some of the skyscrapers, not all of them. And there's another fragment, a bunch of pigeons. Lots of layers of history, one right on top of the other. It's what I love about the city. I think this is part of one of my favorite parts of London. From the Roman era to the modern era and everything in between. Oh, and there's the dome. That's the dome of St. Paul's Cathedral. So we're really close to that as well. Walking through the Barbican and that, this building here is new since I've been here. They were finishing up that one and that looks completely done now. So lots of construction in this area. And the Barbican is a residential area, so these are all down there, and along here are all flats, people's homes. So all up there is where people live. It's really cool. And then inside the Barbican, um, kind of on the other side of all this, so these are all people's front doors. <laughs> so you have to kind of be quiet when you walk through. Um, but, and then it goes up there. And then there's also a cinema and a theater and a bunch of restaurants and a museum space in here as well. Doctor's offices, schools, a church. <laughs> so you almost don't have to leave the Barbican if you don't want to. There's a grocery store connected, so. It's pretty cool, but also very, very, very expensive. But it's beautiful. If you've got the money, it'd be worth it. And then this is the other side. So over there is where a lot of the cultural stuff is. But then you've got the fountains. In the summer, this area is gorgeous and really beautiful on a nice day to sit outside. And then you can see there's two of the um, two of the towers, residential towers. And then these windows on either side are part of like the theater center. There's some rehearsal rooms around here. I know there's also um, an arts school here. Um, I think Guildhall, if I'm remembering correctly. Lots of tunnels. You do get lost the first couple times you attempt this. But my friends live just past that corner a bit. So I cut through here a lot to get to St. Paul's. Yeah, it's the Guildhall School of Music and Drama, which I think is where Matt Smith went to. And now we're back on ground level, so we were up in there, and now we're down on the street. And this is where we're going for lunch, and I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite restaurants. lunch and I'm splitting off from mom and Lisa. I'm going to see Alicia right now. I've stayed here a few times with them um, and also kind of was a house guest, house sitter briefly the last time mom and I came to visit. They were still in Arizona and so mom and I stayed in their flat and looked after their cat Sheba for about a week. 
I know this area really well. It's probably one of my favorite areas in London. I could never afford to live here, but I wish I could. visit, had a cup of tea, and chat with Alicia, which was really good. As we were talking, I realized we hadn't seen each other since the November before this past one, so it's been a while. Um, so that was really good, and the kids were adorable. Squirrel! Sometimes they move too fast for me to catch them on camera. So I'm now going to hustle it over to St. Paul's, where Mom and Lisa are at. Sun's going down, but it's only like 4, 4.15. I don't know, there's something about this neighborhood, I think, because I've been, I've spent so much time over here that it just feels more like home, if that makes sense. Like the area by our hotel is not that familiar to me. So being over here, this feels like being back in London. <laughs> This feels more like being home. I'm happy. My stomach's still not feeling that great, but I'm happy, so. <sighs> Yay! Christmas lights! We're gonna go back up the way we came. So we walked through here earlier. Now we're back. I love the Christmas tree in that window. And we had come from down that way. And now we're going this way. And down we go. to stop at Holland and Barrett. I know there's one up around the corner here. So I want to try to get something to help my stomach. <laughs> Fingers crossed they have what I'm looking for.
a mess. I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. My hair just gets so, it gets all these little fluffy bits when I'm out in the cold, humid weather. Um, anyway, I'm talking nonsense. So yeah, so we had a great day. But yeah, the Museum of London was really cool. Oh, I saw the, um, oh, they're back. I'm vlogging. Um, <laughs> just FYI. Uh, I saw there, this really cool exhibition at the Museum of London that I wasn't allowed to film in, um, but it's on the Great Fire of 1666, and it was really cool. And then the rest of the Museum of London was really cool. I tried to do a kind of quick race through it. And then seeing Alicia was fun, and then St. Paul's, it was dark, so I couldn't get a ton of really great shots. We'll, I'll go back over there um, to show you guys better. It's quarter to nine, so I'm probably going to get a bit cleaned up, and then try to do some editing, and then go to sleep. I was up till 12.30 editing day one, which was the travel and arrival vlog. Um, so I, ca I can't do that again because I was really tired this morning and then throughout the day. So I need to go to bed before midnight tonight. I will see you all in the next vlog and I hope you all are doing well. And thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you all soon. Bye.